This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 Ford F-250 crew cab long bed. It's a 6 turbo diesel, four-wheel drive. It's a Lariat, which is leather. And it's an FX4 off-road suspension package, which is Rancho suspension installed at the Ford factory. This truck only has 37,111 miles. Um, actually, a few more now that we've been uh, we've checked it out. But uh, very low miles. Um, when we get it here to Tucson, it was a theft recovery, by the way. We purchased directly from an insurance company in Van Nuys, uh, California. Uh, when we get it here, we do about a two-hour inspection, uh, driving, measurements, up in the air, wheels off, check it out. Just a really nice truck. Um, we, it got new batteries. It got new rear brake pads. This is what our inspections look like right here. Um, it got a new grill because it had a shutoff valve right here that they had this part of the grill broken out. A little shutoff valve for the diesel fuel tank that clearly was in the bed of this truck that someone stole. Um, so we, re we removed that valve and, uh, and uh, put a new grill in. Uh, it got a new ignition obviously from being stolen the ignition was broken and the driver door lock cylinder is new another victim of uh, theft and the rear seat was missing they stole that also so it got a uh, we found a used rear seat same color blah 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 and that's what it has this truck belonged to some sort of a fueling company um, it had a really nice uh, what was left of the pumping system in the bed we took out. Obviously no tank, there's no point. It had like this reel-in pump thing. It had a bunch of writing on the side, you know, about explosive gases and stuff. The only thing cosmetically I've noticed really is a little bit of fading on top of the bumper cover, uh, on top of the front bumper, uh, the rubber part there. You'll see a little bit of that. That's from being in sunny places like California and Arizona, you get that. And from not moving very much because it parked it and they probably left it in some sort of a yard for a long time and that's probably why it has so few miles is it uh, between being parked in their yard and not being used and then get stolen and being parked at a insurance yard forever and then maybe a police yard forever uh, it hasn't been uh, driven a whole lot which is fairly obvious tires and wheels on it were awful. It had some really ugly wheels on it. And we had these wheels from a truck that we uh, we lifted a couple weeks ago. And uh, really high rubber. Um, they're the factory tires and wheels. And there you go. They're not the factory tires. They're the factory wheels that had a really nice high rubber set of uh, tires on them. It's a really pretty truck. That uh, tow package. Brand new spare. This is sweet truck. They had, they had some sort of a reeled in, like, you know, some sort of, I'm not really sure how this was. They had this little packet in here and it involved a, a spool and a, and a uh, like a gas hose with a nozzle on it. They had a bunch of uh, riding along the top of the bed rails. You'll, we'll have before and after pictures and you'll be able to see what it looked like before. Basically, like this. But we like to know people to know the history of a vehicle as much as we know. Little tiny ding right there. There's your blemish on this side. Beautiful truck. All right, I'm going to fire this thing up. We're going to look under the hood, and we're going to be looking for Ford stamps on both sides of the van, on both sides of the, uh, on both fenders, and on both sides of the core support. The reason we're looking for those there is 37,114. The reason we're looking for them there is to validate that parts haven't been changed in the front end. When people uh, wreck things, uh, wreck trucks, they don't buy Ford parts that are prohibitively expensive. There's your Ford stamp there, new battery on this side. There's your Ford stamp there, and on the converter sticker where it belongs. New battery on this side. Uh, there's a Ford stamp. Uh, there's the Ford stamp there. And that's a uh, very low mile motor right there. Alright. This is your passenger rear window. Up and down. 
They stole this seat, so we had to buy this seat used. A little bit of, I never looked at it, so not much, but it's my job really to make sure that everything is disclosed that we know about this vehicle. There, that would make it so that the right person buys the right truck. Um, we don't have to have anybody buy our vehicles. We're not broke. And if we do this right, the right people will find the truck every time. That's heated on and off. If we do it wrong and try to put people in the wrong vehicle and not disclose stuff, uh, it ends up a mess. Uh, five or six hundred people a day will see this truck online. There's no need to BS or whatever. This is it is what it is, and we will tell you what it is. And right now, I've seen it on the truck. Phone port here. We've got a manual. The seats look great. They should. Nothing there. Headliner looks perfect. Not much to talk about there. Here's your driver rear window. I see a little bit of something right here. I'm not sure what that's from. All right, Our driver window, passenger window, passenger rear window. Driver rear window, mirrors, out, in, up, down, other side, out, in, up, down, all right, door locks, there you go, heated seat, on and off, power seat back, forward, up, down, Front tilt up and down, rear tilt up and down. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Got a little bit of something there on the seat. It's not a burn, it just looks like a some stain or something there. Bolster looks great. Usually on a high mile truck or even on a moderate mile, you'll see some pulling apart right here on this seam and there's none. Adjustable pedals, down, up, fine, tilt wheel, that works fine. Alright. Let's see. Get my seatbelt on here. sliding rear window and then closed perfect let's see we got a radio funky radio here there you go let's see I don't even have any idea how this works you folks excited about Halloween mm. There you go. 
All right, let's see. System check complete. Put it neutral. For low. Drive. Reverse. That's a nice truck. And neutral. Go for a high. Go for a high. The actuator fires instantly. And reverse. All right. Let's go to neutral. Go back to two-wheel drive. Let's go for a ride. This is a sweet truck. Um, it's got a little fading on top of the bumpers. I saw a little ding on the on the uh, passenger side, a tiny ding. Um, it's got a new spare. It's got almost new tires. Um, it's got 37,000 miles. And this is about as easy as you get right here. Um, doesn't get much easier than this. Uh, if you come to Tucson to drive it home, you're going to pay tax. Uh, dock fee, uh, which is $250. The, the dock fee is $250. The tax is our 2% city sales tax in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is 3% and you come here to uh, drive it home, you're gonna pay a total of 5% taxes. That's uh, your three plus our two, um, and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, there's no, uh, there's no dock fee, there's no taxes. You deal with your tax man or your uh, motor vehicle fees once it gets there. Uh, once we receive your money by wire, we will uh, sign the title off to you, notarize it, scan it into your online file, uh, so you can view it. Uh, we even scan in the uh, envelope we send it in. Um, and let's see, what else? Deposit. Please get your deposit in. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Uh, then we'll put your name and a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you'll know it's yours. But it's a nice truck. All right. This is a uh, 35, by the way. 65 is probably going to get me a ticket one of these days. Um, because the cop likes to hide right around this corner, right through those bushes. And from what I understand, he's seen me doing that a few times. So, one of these days, I'm going to give up a ticket for my peeps. Uh, let's see, deposit. Uh, like I said, 500 bucks. Please get that in. Last thing I'm going to say, I say this about every vehicle we sell, uh, whether it's Hummer or this Tundra or Dennis's BMW right there, uh, my Acura. They're out of warranty, okay? The Ford guys who made this thing didn't know what, what would happen after a certain number of miles or years. In this case, it's years, because the miles are still super low. But they sent a warranty, and they do that because they don't know what's gonna happen. They know more than me, and they built this vehicle. Uh, they built this vehicle, so they know more. Uh, what I'm saying is there's risk involved in buying this vehicle. Even with it's super low miles, it's hard to imagine there being much risk, but there is. You never know if an injector will go out, um, you know, air conditioning will break. Who knows? You know, it's out of warranty, and they know more than we know. So if you're risk-averse, don't buy our vehicles. If you can see in your mind that you're saving a ton of money and that someday, sooner or later, you may have to spend some of that money on a repair, then this is a great truck. I mean, I, the risk level on this is very low but there is risk all right uh, just keep it in mind we like people to walk in here uh, with their eyes wide open all right thank you